Welcome back, Mahula friends and Mahula fans. Where that we are back in Demetrius, the cynical adventure, the big cynical adventure, uh, where we are continuing where exactly we had left off in the last episode, where that we had exited our apartment. Uh, we can't find our cell phone. We tried to report to the police, but then this guy won't use the landline. So we come out of the apartment and we meet Sandra, our neighbor across the way. <laughs> The thing is that we're in Paris, France, so I would love to try to do this in a French accent, but I would rip it apart so badly. Pardon, pardonnez-moi, but did you hear about the racket last night? No, 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 I can't do it. Did you hear about the racket last night? Racket? What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper, you know. Oh. No, don't show her the dang DVD. Talk about the argument. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, it was just... It was two men judging from their voices and... And, oh, one had a deep voice with a foreign accent. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was rather high-pitched and... That's pretty much all I remember. So it's high pitched, so it could be a woman. Hey, Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller? Or maybe a barbecue cleaner? What? Bjorn, I'm a nurse. My job fo forced me to move to Paris. <laughs> Dang. Well, then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here. Can you lend me that book you told me about? Book? Yes, the cookbook. All oh, right, yeah. As soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. All right, see you later. Okay, elevator's out of order. Oh no, it's been emptied. Where am I going to find used chewing gum now? Ew! Elevator jam, please panic and scream loudly. Great. Now I know what to do next time. Door 12. I wonder if I should... Bjorn, why do you knock on my door? I have a doorbell, you know. Okay, sorry. I, I'm not used to these modern gadgets. Uh, the cookbook. Have you found my cookbook? Not yet. Don't worry. I'll find it. Maybe I should start looking. Oh, at least you can go... At least it's like RPG-ish where you can go back and talk to her. A child fell through this opening once. What? He was found clinging to that pipe. Fortunately, he didn't damage it. My rent would have gone up. Okay, so... There was an argument out here. I can't go there. Okay, so when I said RPG-ish, I mean that, you know, you talk to her. I mean, you can always go back to talk to her and, and look up the, uh, the old details. So we're outside. I wonder if I should go to my shop or should I go directly to the police department? Uh, let's go to the shop and see if... Okay, it doesn't look like anyone broke in. So let's go to the de police department. Andrew's police department. Reception. Really? That's reception and this guy's playing Pong. Uh, reception. Lodge your complaint here. Okay, that works in my case. But what if I had another request? Like, what if I'm going to give birth or something? I'd be completely lost. Well, no, you'd be going to the hospital then. Can I help you? And why is he sweating? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint for burglary and aggression. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? Do you even ask for my name first? There are two options. One, 
If you have an ID card, your name is written on it. Two, if you don't, any answer you'd give wouldn't be acceptable anyway. Alright, uh, ID card. Here you go. Ah, finally. See, that wasn't so hard. Speak for yourself. Let's see. Mr. Bjorn Thonen. Uh, say your name. Say, your name doesn't sound very French. Listen, I was born in Paris. I'm French. End of the line. Whoa, don't lose your temper. That was just a little joke. Uh, but you're right. These days, I don't feel so well. Uh, and I'm so thirsty in here. I wish I had an ice cream machine. Anyway, let's knock. Let's not get off track. So, you'd like to file a complaint. One second. I'll uh, grab a form. Go on. Tell me what happened. Oh, yesterday in the apartment. Blah, blah, blah. And here I am. There. You know everything interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry, then uh, put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. Wait, what? I don't get it. I explained I got robbed, knocked unconscious, and that's all you do? My good man, we receive dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up on the most important cases. Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. With a whole barrel of luck, you mean. Sorry, I can't do any more for you. Uh, missing tablet. I like to report a missing important. Yes. Oh, excuse me, just have to stretch over here for a second. You see, I've got a rare statue at home. It's supposed to be some kind of a tablet on it. And it's gone. It was there yesterday, now I can't find it anymore. So, so this must be what the thieves were after. They've stolen it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet somewhere else. Or it went into the trash when you used your vacuum cleaner. Uh, you don't take me seriously, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I'll add to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yes, but you don't understand. This is no ordinary burglary. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Really? I'll go now. Sure, good day. Wow. Stop right there. Let's see this. What does that say about? Look at all these things you can click on. Something tells me that doormat serves a specific purpose. Haha. Ha. Serves you right. Look that look at that. Trash on the plant. They should at least clean up occasionally. Well, all oh, right, the window is here. That could prove useful in an emergency. Does that mean that I might have to run? Stealing is bad, murder is badder. Whoa. Now that's a useful message. The useful message with... Yeah, right. Unsolved cases, hire detective. I might have to do that. Note. Carrots, potatoes, milk, ham, cow tongue low-fat soup. Did they mistake the dartboard for a bulletin board? Now is that peeing on plant is forbidden? That certainly gives me ideas. Pee on the plant? No. I'll get arrested. Yeah, I'm crazy but not insane. Photocopier. Wow. That's a huge photocopier. Photocopier in the police department. Actually, I made a bet a while ago. Photocopier but no. To hell with that bet, I can't take the risk. You know, I swear I've seen that character somewhere else. I can't pinpoint where or when though, maybe I'll remember soon. A policeman must have eaten some cookies recently. Oh, cookies. Wow, look at that, a CRT monitor. With a flat tube. And here I thought the police had no budget. Charles drawings. Some Charles drawings. No, wait. Is that a signature? And there's a message to my lovely Sarah Eugene. Wow. Just wow. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm talking to you. Mister, don't insist. Eugene has some hearing problems. What? 
You mean he can't hear anything I say precisely? Awesome. Uh, if you've got any questions, ask me. Ugh. Okay, there's nothing else to do. So what if I go for a floor? Mister? You're not allowed to go there. Oh. Oh. Nothing to cut. Don't need the DVD. Alright, um... Alright, I'm gonna use the cookie. I expected that the pol uh, the policeman doesn't care about my case. But I know it's no ordinary thief. I need some proof. Maybe I could check around my store. I think I saw something on the street near the shop. Wait a minute. Really? Okay, I guess there's clues there. Bag of chips. Really? Newspaper. Oh, there we go. Wait, that picture. That's the same bird statue. The article says that an antique dealer was killed last week for unknown reasons. This looks awfully f similar to what happened to me last night. Which means maybe I'm a little bit lucky after all. I'd better keep this article. Okay. Huh. Pharmacy logo. Exit. 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 Store sign. Oh, ice cream man. Hello, mister. You want an ice cream? Of course not. I'm here to buy groceries. Oh, haha. I see you're quite the funny one. Specials. What are your specialities? West Indian ice cream. Ki kiwi, guava, lychee, all mixed together to make some most delicious dessert ever. You want one? Maybe later. Okay. So he doesn't have anything. Garbage, garbage men. Probably vacation again. Simply intolerable. Tennis ball. Some people put tennis balls on their trailer hitch to prevent it from rusting. Why not a football? One would think it'd be more efficient. No, because it's too big. What a lovely rustic trash bin. Anything inside is probably all musty. Trash bag looks like there's enough space on the ground for all the trash. So I hit the garbage. I look at the trash bin. Yep, good name. Musty Street. Road sign. I flunked my driver's test, so I have no idea what this sign is for. Nice. Ivy. Is it poisonous? I wonder. Cones, French production. I thought the point of parasols was to prevent sunburn. So why did he turn it to the side? Door. Either no one home. They're deaf or they don't care. Okay. So we found something. No one coming? Seriously, what kind of lousy dealer owns this door? Yeah, you do. What the? The door has been forced open. Great. The burglars must have visited my store too. What were they looking for? Let's see if anything is missing. We don't accept rubber checks anymore. Box. It's sealed. That box cannot be opened. I believe it was made like that from the beginning. Vintage is great. Vintage is easy money. I've had trouble with bad checks in the past, so I put this up. I put the sign up. I still take checks, just not the rubber kind. Chair. Never put anything in the chair. Aside from my butt, obviously. Cash register. Let's see if... Oh no, it's empty. The thief must have... Wait. It's been empty for ages. The thief has nothing to do with this. Ha ha. Uh... Hmm. 
well, I can't go upstairs. A client sold me a very, a very big, a very heavy piano. I tried to put it upstairs, but failed. It's totally stuck on the stairs, blocking the way. So I just decided to close up the floor. To close the floor. Definitely the most logical thing to do, and the easiest. Plant. Nice plant. Only downside is kids playing hide and seek behind it. Anything else? Mirror half broken. Don't think clients expect to buy mint condition articles anyway. Here, yeah, okay. Marketing genius. Rare map reproduction. Swords. One of them has a pink handle. I suppose it's for a woman to smite the men who cheated on them. Base. It's broken in some places, but I doubt anyone's going to buy this to hold water anymore. Viewed from afar, it looks like magical crystal. Excusez-moi, pardonnez-moi. Not quite the sound expected. Seriously, I doubt anyone can. Maybe giant sarcophagus. Some items in the store come from museums. Sometimes they get rid of cool stuff they decide. Probably fake. It's a bit Egyptian, probably a fake though. Uh, the symbols that the peasants used to ask the gods for miracles. Like to cure diseases or remove viruses from their computers. <laughs> I suppose it's supposed to be some kind of flying creature. Considering the number of times it's fallen, I'd say it doesn't fly very well. Uh, I lit it once to make the room look pretty. It ended up being a disaster. The candlestick itself was the only thing I could salvage. Antique umbrella. I don't know how it's antique. Well, it's shape, of course. And the smell. Flog. Uh, it's blank. Flag. The own flag. Make your own flag. Oh, there's his phone. My phone. Totally forgot I left it here yesterday. Yay! No messages, huh? Mobile for the mobile phone is a special item. You'll find it in the top bar. Okay, so what does it do? Phone. Phone numbers. Me, Tom. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I'm not completely sure considering how much rubbish I have in here, but nothing seems to be missing from my store, so why was the door forced open? Alright, so what should I do now? Find clues in the apartment. Window. Screaming, anybody home? Hello, hello? Seems not. Convince the police. Here's your proof. Read this article. <clears throat> I don't see the correlation to my... You don't see the correlation to my story? Not really. It says an antique seller was killed last week. That man had a statue identical to the one that belongs to me. And look at the picture. No tablet either. Alright, that doesn't prove anything. You could have made up the whole thing based on that newspaper. I'll include it in the article. I'll include the article in your report, but that's pretty much it. So despite all this, I still can't get an appointment to with Inspector Kase. Kase I don't even know his name. <laughs> Sorry, but I really can't. I really can't be of any help for now, and I'm literally dying of thirst. Hmm. Let me bring you a drink. Would that help me get your appointment? Maybe. Just maybe if you can bring ice cream. An ice cream. Okay. Okay, okay, so... So let's go do some things here. First off... I'm gonna go back to my apartment. I'm gonna get that cookbook. And talk to the cutie. Uh... 
Salvage Everything, Henry VIII, Boring Stories, Tales Next Year, Barbie is Big Boobs, Cooking for Idiots. Now the intruder in my library is gone. I really appreciate if you'd use the doorbell. It cost me 100 euros to install. Boy, 100 euros to install a doorbell. She got ripped off. Yeah, really. As promised, here's the cooking bible. Sorry for the delay. Uh, to make up for it, you can keep it. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Well, with this, I'll finally become the real cook I've always wanted to be. Is she serious? I owe you one. Bjorn, please take this. Lighter. Why did she give me a lighter? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a lighter. Or I can see that, but why are you giving this to me? I found it in my front door. It may belong to one of the men from the fight last night. Uh, you sounded so interested earlier, so I figured I'd give it to you. Good thinking. What do you know? Something's written on the lighter for Hector, my friend and partner. And underneath is an address. Ooh. I'd better check it out. New location. Bjorn, are you okay? Er, sorry, just lost in thought. Please come for dinner sometime. Uh, tasting the recipe. Sure. Alrighty, cool. So, let's go ahead and uh, buy an ice cream. Five euro. What er? Right in front of the cart. Stop running, man! I don't have any money. How am I supposed to buy an ice cream for that annoying police officer? Yeah, how am I supposed to buy it for that for the annoying police officer? Sheesh. How am I supposed to get money? I guess I'm gonna have to look for money now. Or what I'll do here is I'll go to that address. I'll have to go here. So we're going to call it an episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, so much, so much for spending time with me. Thank you to returning subscribers for your faithfulness. Thank you to uh, new visitors to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to receive Mahula Madness in your inbox. All I got to say is, um, you know, we, gotta a we have to ask. We must ask. We, we request. We beg of you for your continued love and support. By clicking the like, favorite, share buttons. Well, I don't think there's a favorite button. But, uh, you know, giving us those clicks. Telling your folks, your friends, your non-friends, your frenemies. Complete strangers about the Mahula Madness you have seen here. You have witnessed here today. Uh, all I'm going to say is thank you so much. Be safe out there. Stay thirsty. Keep frosty. We take risks for you in these virtual worlds so that you and your wallets don't have to. Thanks a lot.